Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the super rare S458 Made in Italy Pro Fight Gloves. So check it out. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Super Rare S458 Made in Italy Pro Fight Gloves. I got mine in 10 ounces in this black and red colorway. You can also get it in white and red, navy and black, and all black. And it is uh, an all uh, only a lace-up uh, glove, obviously, because it's a Pro Fight Glove, so they don't offer this in Velcro. And this is going to be the third pair of Super Rare uh, Italian-made boxing gloves. I've tried and done a review on. I did a review on the S50 as well as the S40 training gloves. I was really happy with those, so I was excited to try these out and see how these would perform. Um, you can see these are handmade in Italy using full, genuine uh, cowhide Italian leather. So design-wise, when you look at these gloves, they're very compact, which they should be for a uh, pro fight glove. They came weighing in both exactly at 9.6 ounces. So they're exactly on weight with each other and about 0.4 ounces under the 10 ounce um, advertised weight. In terms of sanctioning, if you were to use these uh, gloves in an actual fight, um, I don't know what the discrepancy for weight differences between you know the gloves as far as if they're a 10 ounce glove, if they allow any leeway you know, up or down. So if it's like 10.4 or 9.6, if they would approve that. Uh, but again, these are exactly on weight with each other. Um, you can see that the leather is beautiful. It has a very nice texture and green to it. Uh, it has a very high-end feel. You have the Super Air logo on the back of the glove right there. And it has kind of a semi-gloss finish to the glove itself. Um, the description for the padding that you use in here is a lightweight padding. Um, but by the feel of it, as well as when I was using this for bag work and hitting the mitts, uh, I would venture to say that the, the padding in here is a probably a combination of horse hair as well as foam. So you're getting a little bit best of both worlds. You're getting that nice kind of broken in puncher's feel with the horse hair where your knuckles kind of sink in, but you have also a layer of foam in there to give you some protection as well. And even when you, when you kind of pu push down on the striking surface, you can hear it. And I don't know if that'll come through in the video, but you can almost hear the horse hair in the inside if I'm not mistaken when you push against it just by the consistency of it. So uh, I would say that this is more on a puncher's glove side, just based on the softness of the padding, but it does have a layer of protection there. Um, you do have a leather attached thumb right there, the red on the palm side, ventilated holes, um, a really nice grip bar. It's a really large size grip bar that's nice and firm on the inside. It feels like they use like a rubber tube uh, black piping on the palm. There's the double stitching. Nice long red flat laces. Uh, wrist support again for a fight glove is always going to be pretty pretty similar to all the other fight gloves where you're not going to get a ton uh, of padding on the wrist section. Um, just make, to make sure that the glove itself is on point with the weight. And besides that, when you wear this for a fight, they're gonna your hands are all wrapped up. Uh, with gauze and tape, then you tape this all off before the fight. So you're going to get a good amount of support regardless. Um, and then right here, also, it's also an emboss, which is the uh, uh, the science, uh, la, la, do, let me see if I can read it. la dolce scienza. I believe that's like the science of boxing, uh, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm saying that wrong, correct me down below in the comments box. Uh, but that's actually embossed into the leather. Uh, the actual liner is a polyester nylon liner, nothing too crazy there. Black piping as well as about um, three quarters of an inch of padding of medium density on the back of the wrist. Uh, you have the little weight tag right there that says 10 for 10 ounces and the cloth super rare logo on the back of the wrist. And that also says uh, prodotto italiano or prodotto italiano. I'm assuming that means like Italian product. Um, again, if I'm mistaken with that, you guys go ahead and correct me. Um, now, quality-wise, these gloves are really, really good. I would say the only area I would say of concern, and, and I would, I kind of have to be nitpicky with this glove. You know, when you go with the higher-end stuff, 
you know, like the, the Super Made in Italy winning, Reyes, uh, 1v1, whatever it may be. You just, the high-end glove manufacturers, you kind of have to put a little bit more uh, nitpicking into it because you're paying for that, right? You're paying for the attention to detail. So well, the first thing you'll see is that the, the patch on here is kind of crooked. So it's not exactly, so you can see the gap between here and the top where the wrist is at is not the same. So again, little attention to detail. To me, that patch is crooked. Um, the leather looks great. It feels great. It's held up really nicely. Uh, the patch on the back that's uh, printed on here is the same for the left and the right side. Um, the stitching on here looks really, really good. Fingertip compartment looks great. Attached thumb looks good. Ventilated holes are all poked out. You can see the stitching formation looks good. So no crooked stitching. And it was the same for both sides. I did a review on the uh, S50 gloves, the purple ones I had, and there was a, a discrepancy with the stitching. And But with this one, you, you don't have that issue. Um, you know, the wrist area looks good. The red color pops nicely. It looks really clean. The liner doesn't have any holes or any, any exposed foam or liner on the inside. Laces are done nicely. All the edges look really clean and no bumps or any imperfections over the strike surface or even on the thumb. So overall, I mean, it's a really, really, really nice glove. Stitching looks great. Leather looks really good. Um, didn't really find any imperfections. You can see right here where the, the thumb meets the index finger. I kind of, I call them like hiding spots, right? Those are like the areas where the stitching is not immediately noticeable when you're looking at it from like the naked eye. You might just see the gloves like, oh yeah, these look great. And then you kind of get a deeper look into it and you're like, oh man, look at that. that you know, that doesn't look good. Or, you know, the stitching is done kind of half-assed on this side and or it's kind of pulling through but uh, with this it looks really good so you can tell that there's an attention to detail with this glove the only thing is going to be the pack so uh, if that's the only negative thing I could find with this glove then they're doing a great job with it so overall the quality on this is very nice uh, comfort of the glove sliding your hand in here um, you notice that it's compact so which is good for a 10 ounce glove it feels uh, like the perfect size for my hand um, if you're a bigger a bigger individual uh, I think this glove will fit you nicely um, thumb placement is optimal, uh, has a really nice thumb, good amount of padding on the back of the thumb as well. And the thumb is deep enough to even when I make a fist, it doesn't pinch down on it. Uh, it's super broken in, so if you love those really soft broken in gloves, you know, uh, one of my favorites is like the Rival Guerrero uh, fight gloves. And those are just, you put your hand in there and they just fit like a glove. I know that's uh, no pun intended, but it's kind of the same with these. You can see that I can open and close my hand with, with ease. There's really no resistance there. Um, the liner feels really good on the inside. Um, one thing I wish they would have done, there's, you can actually feel the stitching a little bit right here on the finger where the seam is at. So if they covered that with a piece of neoprene, that would have been a nice little extra touch on the inside. Um, the wrist support feels really good. Um, and there's no areas where I find any pinching or discomfort around my knuckles, on my thumb, or on the seam of the thumb. Even with my hand wraps on, they felt really good. So the comfort is definitely there. The liner on the inside feels good. Um, the foam that's up against your hand on the inside is nice and soft as well, so it, it kind of forms to your hand. And when, the more you use this glove, the more you're using it. If you're not using this for a fight and you're just using this for training, I'm assuming a lot of you guys that get fight gloves like myself typically use it for, for mitt work and some, you know, some limited bag work depending on the, the density of the bag because you can really just kind of go through this glove and bust up the padding on a heavy bag. So uh, a lot of times mostly for mitt work, but you get an that extra crack and feeling with these gloves. And that leads on to the protection performance. You know, as far as protection goes, if you're kind of gonna compare this to like a traditional bag glove, you're not gonna get the same level of, of protection, both in terms of the knuckle, as well as the wrist support. It's just not designed for that. Now, um, if you're looking for a glove that you can use primarily for big, big um, mitt work, excuse me, um, and some bag work, uh, you know, sparing bag work, then I think you guys will love this glove. I think it gives you excellent feedback. And pop, you, you land on those two front knuckles like you want to. You can make an excellent fist. Fist placement is optimal. Thumb placement is good as well. And that's what you're really looking for in a glove, uh, but more specifically a puncher style glove because, you know, you're kind of putting yourself at risk. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say of injury, but the glove isn't designed to give you the, the most support in the world, like where your, your wrist is extremely locked in and you have different layers of padding over your knuckles and you're really, they really designed the glove, like a, a bag glove, like the title Gel World VT, VT, uh, V2Ts, if I wanna say, yeah, V2Ts, where 
there's a gel padding and then there's layered foam and then they have like a you know a v wrist lock system and all that um, and you're not going to get that with these gloves but what you are going to get is optimal hand placement and excellent feedback and feel um, and oftentimes that's what it really boils down to for uh, for boxers or people in combat sports when they get their glove is how does it feel for you i mean you can have all these different technologies but if it doesn't feel good on you then you're probably not going to end up using it so uh, my recommendation for these gloves is definitely it's a great mint glove it's a great uh, glove for like double end bag work um, and and heavy bag work um, i would recommend if you do use it for heavy bag work something softer like of a softer fill i wouldn't go with like a rock solid bag like a nazo um, there's some Tidal gel, gel um, heavy bags I've used in the past at my old gym that was super stiff when you hit it, it just felt like you're, you're hitting the wall. Um, so I would stay away from that because that will definitely deteriorate the, the padding way too quickly. And um, you know, for the price that you're paying for this, uh, you just want to try to, in my opinion, preserve the gloves as long as you can. So um, now the next thing would be cost of the gloves. Speaking of cost, um, these gloves at, come in at $249. So right around the same price as their traditional training gloves. Um, and for Italian-made gloves, I, I think that uh, price is right where it needs to be at. Uh, great quality, um, really cool design. I love the way it looks. Um, foam padding feels really good in there. I believe it is a combination of, of, of probably a layered foam and horse hair is my best assumption. Um, so I think it, it really checks off all the boxes in terms of quality, uh, comfort, protection, and performance. So, you know, at the price that you're getting at, I think it's a, a, a fair deal. Um, and if you can get it on sale, that's even better. Uh, but the $249 price tag, if you're comparing it to what else is out there quality-wise, genuine leather, made in Italy, um, then I definitely think it's, it, it's right where it needs to be at. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these super rare S458 made in Italy boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.